work is in your hands at that point. So you're a recorder. So I'm going to take it in probably 10 stages, quite slowly, and it might drive you mad, but I don't think it will. From a distance, when you only have memory, what are those trees? And they will tell you. So you'll be writing about 10 statements. Some of the children will find not a great deal of language because if they're already ruined, they will think they can't invent. If it's already been driven out of them that they are capable of very rich, full imagery in classrooms, they will not be able to start from the image that will create the language. <clears throat> if you get a child who is what we can call then in those terms reticent, you don't necessarily have a slow learner. What you have is somebody who has discounted that early ability to produce images fast. Now that has to be re-won, and it can be of course, because we don't give children time to produce images. And yet images are one of the big ways in which we produce knowledge for ourselves. And you can't live without image. Imagination has a thousand faces to it. And sometimes an image calls for a recall as my daughter's face. But sometimes an image needs a relationship of many events quickly put together so that you capture the spirit of something. So if you say, can you remember your grandmother? I don't think of my grandmother as a face because my grandmother was a great... I can't even find a word for the total image, like a massive cradle. So I have to put together a composite image of my grandmother, her voice, her stance, the way she walked up to the post office, uh, and so on and so on, her touch. So it isn't just, at the moment as my daughter says, oh, I can just see her now when I last saw her. You see what I mean? Because my grandmother is more complex at a certain level than that. If, however, somebody says, what's your daughter like? Then I have to go for that kind of image. Because there's no good saying, oh, she's got red hair. That isn't what she's like. And so the children are being asked, in this case, they are not asked to see trees. They are asked to see trees of an ancient lineage, of an enormous specialness, and the only last ones. Now that is not an easy image. So don't be alarmed if on number one there is a space there is not nothing. The fact that nothing is written down does not mean there was nothing. But there is a space which is a positive space. It is a present absence. Does that make sense? It is not nothing. Because you can't have nothing. <clears throat> you can only have, well, it presently did not occur. And so, uh, everything in theatre is presently absent. It is never not there. It's a very important concept. So, it's presently absent, the knowledge of our accommodation. It's presently absent, the common understanding of these trees, as each individual begins to do them. So, you'll probably have... If I can manage to get ten stages, it'll be because I'm clever this morning. If I only manage five, you'll know that I am presently not so clever as I'm possible to be some other day. That's the first thing.